Hey everybody. Good morning. It's a Sunday morning, August. Summer's can see the end of it, but still got a ways to go here in the south. Um, sitting down on the back porch. Take another little walk around the yard, see how things are going. Did a few different things. Just want to share it with you, but uh, it's nice warm. It's not too little humid as it always is in South Carolina. <laughs> Summertime, but uh, Oh, ravishing Mrs. Ritter and Bella are still asleep, so I thought I'd just take a little walk around the yard. So let's see uh, see what we got going on today. Like I said, back porch here, we got these hydrangeas. So it's, we went out of town uh, for a week or so. Um, and uh, so here's the dilemma, you know, the, the deer love these hydrangeas, so we put them on the back porch here. Of course, they, they've just taken off like crazy, beautiful limelight hydrangeas. Now the problem is, is uh, they don't get any rain. So I, I have a uh, water can back here that uh, whenever it rains, it fills up and I use that to water the plants. But uh, but when I'm gone, we'll, you know, I, so the dilemma is, do I put them down here so that they get rained on with a 100% chance the deer will come up and eat them or do I leave them up here and well, that's what I did, and the inside leaves dried up uh, and died off, but uh, the outside leaves stayed, stayed uh, green. So, looking a little rattier than they did before, but uh, they're still here, and they're still putting out flowers. So, here's some new ones. That's pretty, pretty when they first come out, and then they change color to these lime green colors. That's why they're called lime lights, I guess. You hear the cicadas going. Here, got to uh, mow the grass. Um, so did a few things, so I'm gonna take a walk around a different way today. So bushes are growing nice. You can hear the ground, how mushy it is. The rain we've gotten. Morning. These palms we put in, the one we had in before died. These came in real nice. Hanging in there, sweet grass came back. Now, learned my lesson the hard way. See this bare patch here that I fertilized these things, which you don't need to, somebody pointed out to me. <clears throat> so, I won't do that again. They'll get watered on and do fine, but they're coming back nice. So this is, again, this is the sweet grass they use around here to make the sweet grass baskets. You can see they'll, they'll come and cut, let them dry and make baskets out of them. So this is the new, new crepe myrtle here. I love the color. It's kind of a watermelon uh, color with the flowers, but uh, we wanted to kind of get a bigger one and and apparently I guess the deer have been leaving this one alone which is good so even that one alone the last one the it was a darker colored leaf I don't know it just maybe that's just they like eating that kind but they wouldn't leave that thing alone they just eat the, any flowers that came out of it and just eat it up all the time so I haven't seen they're not messing around with it at all so I've just put this in a couple days ago it's doing real nice so these Hydrangeas, I mean these uh, sweet grass here are doing real well. Another palm, looking nice. Let's check the front porch here. Got my little water fountain. I bought this for ravishing Mrs. Ritter for an anniversary a few years ago. I like it. I know sometimes I'll, I'll put a little spoonful of bleach in there to kind of keep that algae knocked back, but I don't know. Kind of like the look sometimes too. I'll just kind of spray it out every once in a while when I fill the water up. Palms are doing nice, keeping them clean, cut back. So the only thing with plants like this right along the edge of the house, you get a little bit of the rubbing on here. It's all right. Herb garden's looking a little Threadbare chives are still doing fine, but this parsley's uh, about had it. So if we can find another 
parsley plant. That's the thing about putting that stuff in at the end of the summer is a lot of the plant stores don't have anything else, but uh, the thyme has really just taken off this year. Lots of, lots of rain, but it, I mean, it's just, I need to cut some of this back and probably dry some of this or something and save it, you know, so. This is the celery, which I think I'm waiting a little bit for cooler weather for this to come. I just planted this from a cutting. I think it probably needs some cooler weather, but you can see there's a stalk coming, starting to come. Basil, I kind of kept this cut back when you see some bugs have gotten to it. Uh, one of them's really gotten to it. Um, try to keep it cut back and so that it'll grow. Because normally I don't cut it and it gets leggy. Like, see this, this, whoop, one of those little anoles, I guess is what they're called. Hey, buddy. See? Whoop. <laughs> um, see, like this one here is uh, long. I just need to cut this one back and uh, keep it cut back and so that it'll bush up more. So, uh, now this is this is the mint. This is the one that kind of grew over into a, and I don't see, you can see the, where I cut it, one of these long things right here grew over into another pot and it took root. So I just cut it off and just planted it, stuck the root ball a little deeper in there and it's, of course, now it's taken off. Mm. Pretty invasive. There's a lemon tree, or lime tree, I guess it is, doing well. Gets these spikes on them. See that thing? Ooh, ouch. I get out here with clippers every now and then, keep these cut back. Because they, uh, they don't feel so good when something like that sticks into you. So, we just don't use this that often. But you can see on this thing where I, you can cut this thing back to a stump, and it'll come back, you know, which is basically what I did about three years ago, I cut it all the way back and it just keeps coming back. These things are pretty hardy. So, big thick branches and you gotta kinda keep them cut back or they'll they'll get all crazy on you. Green onions, look at this thing. It's freakazoid onions. <laughs> all right, this, this palm's done. We were, that one's been there before uh, we replaced that one, but the, these are looking really nice this year. It's more sweet grass. And I put a dill in, which again, as it starts to kind of cool down, I'm hoping that's gonna kind of come back, but again, the deer will munch on that too. Here's a, our other crepe myrtle. This is a white one. Um, I think next year, I was talking to wife I think it'll probably not cut it back so far give it a uh, get a little bit uh, thicker next year I think so but you see they get these long strands and then it puts the flowers out on the end so it only puts flowers out on new growth so I think next year you can see like like where I cut here I think probably I'll cut up a little higher and let it let it uh, get fuller. I think next year, but these bushes here do real well. <clears throat> Beautiful day. Nice. It feels cooler today. These have done real well this year. Lamandra. It's really taken off. Here's my little cherry tree of uh, ornamental cherry tree I really need to I need to come out here and trim this up a little bit shape it a little bit better but uh, this is um, whenever I mow the grass uh, this was getting a little thin with the pine straw so I just put some grass cuttings down and you can see the rain and soaks in and I talked about that before about how it, it'll break down and into soil you know, just trying to build it up over here. And I'm hoping that these peanuts here will help enrich the soil. I'm just about right now, the deer got to them. So this little guy is doing his best to hang on, but you can see where they munched on 
leaves on this thing. Um, it's got a little grass here. Um, I, you know, I rode past some fields in Virginia. You can see where they just nipped off all the leaves on this one. He's trying to come back valiantly. Yeah, peanut's supposed to stand up a little bit more. I, I, I don't know if it's just the soil is, is so poor back here that, uh, that that's what this is. Yeah, see, this is, this is what I got to deal with. So when they put the foundation down for the house, it's clay and sand and there's rocks and construction debris all mixed in and that's what comes up out of the ground. So peanuts are, I think probably the next video I'll do in the yard, I'll pull those peanuts up and see how they're doing. But, and the deer munched a little bit on this potato. You can see they got the, the leaves there, but still hanging in there. This, this guy's getting close to being done. I think I want to hopefully I'll get those potatoes a little bigger. So that, and that came from the potato peels. So, which is pretty cool. It's just all the peels I put down there, I got one plant out of it. So it's probably better to do it like everybody does uh, potato peels and or potatoes and just cut them up in chunks. So bird feeder has been a little bit of a disappointment. No birds. Every now and then a bird will come, but I think there's just so much to eat around here with bugs and all. But and then I got, this is the offering here for the deer now. Let's see if I can see, yep, there it is. You can see the deer droppings. They come in, there's more of them there. So this is the deer door. This is where they come in. And But I, I put the grass, I, I don't have a compost bin this year like I did last year. Um, so I just put the grass clippings right along the edge of the woods here to kind of keep the grass and stuff beat back, which I, I think looks pretty nice. But this was one of the old uh, palms that wasn't doing very well at all. And I just, I hate, just like this bush right here was not doing very well. It was over by the air conditioner. I hate, I hate just throwing throwing them away to die so I just planted them out there and give it a chance you know if it's meant to be it is and, and he's hanging on there he's doing well he's not thriving but this this bush has done well it's kind of neat being here all these years seeing these trees like this this sweet gum tree here just came up from nothing I planted this sweet gum right right here and I was doing a little permaculture, and when I I was clearing off some stuff, and I dug a big hole, and I put some put the cut branches and things like that in the hole, and I covered it up, and then I planted that tree on top of it. And as the the stuff in the hole breaks down, it provides long-term fertilizer, which I think is pretty cool, pretty cool idea. Um, but that's not doing as well. I just think it doesn't get sun. It gets just too much shade there. So that other sweet gum's really taking off. So anyway, that's the latest update around the yard. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys, uh, see y'all later.